This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Welcome to it. Expresso right here on S3. It's so far been a wonderful Monday. And joining us on the Expresso stage right now, Eric Dippenau and also Rosalind. And now Eric is, a, I hope I'm saying this correctly, a harpsichordist and artistic director at the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra. And uh, he's here to chat to us about uh, the Cape Town Baroque Music Festival that is currently taking place in the Mother City. Let's give them a big round of a feel-good welcome this morning. Come on, give a nice round of applause. It's wonderful to have you guys. Rosalind, Eric, thank you very much for joining us. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I said that correctly because that's not a word that I use. That came up perfectly. Okay, so I'm, I'm scared to repeat it. A, 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 a harpsichordist. So that. that's somebody, uh, kind of the nerdy types like me, you play the instrument that you have here behind you, which is in a way the predecessor of the piano. Oh. So it's a, it's a, a, a strings and a keyboard, but it plucks the strings rather than hit the strings like a piano. Oh, really? So it sounds, you'll hear now, it sounds a little bit like a plucked uh, piano or something, a bit like a, a guitar. Plucked piano. Yes, exactly. My goodness. <laughs> no, we're, we're in for a treat this morning, that's for sure. Let's chat about the Cape Town Baroque Festival. Firstly, what is it all about? Rosalind, you can also tell me about it. Um, I mean, why, why is this something that, that I think is much needed? Injecting some culture in us. Well, it's firstly a celebration of music that's not very often performed um, in the world in general, but in, in South Africa. It's a very special um, collection of um, very expressive music and played by wonderful colleagues. And it's basically just having a bunch of fun on stage and having people come and watch us. Mm. Um, Yes, maybe Eric can say a bit more about the actual content there. Yeah, yeah we, um, so we, we do a, a, a varied program of different types of music. So if you think about the Baroque, actually it spans about 200 years. So um, we've already had some even contemporary music for old Baroque instruments, li like the ones, uh, copies of originals that you see here. Mm -hmm. um, but um, upcoming this week, uh, perhaps two concerts that I can highlight is we have two international guests. Um, Anna Fusek and Gianluca Jeremia and they play lute and recorders and baroque violin so they'll do a duo recital and then at the end of the week we've got a, a big bash with the whole baroque orchestra and several soloists playing with the uh, orchestra including Rosman also with a viola da gamba. That is fantastic yeah. and what does an evening like this entail exactly for those coming through? I think it's um, Definitely much more relaxed than people uh, assume it would be than, uh, than kind of normal classical music <laughs> concerts. Um, there's always wine, and I think um, I or, always introduce the pieces, talk to the audience, and so, so in a way we kind of work to create a relaxed uh, environment mm. um, in order to, to convey the music perhaps better, even if it's perhaps serious music or not, but, yeah. but to engage with the audiences. And stuff. Yeah, and I think this is such a great opportunity, especially with something like this, is to really translate that music into feeling exactly. towards the audience, which, which I think is very, very special, and I don't think we get that enough as well. You guys had a couple of performances in Cape Town, there's still a couple left. What's the, the response been like? I mean... I find generally that, that people respond super well to the music, you know, it's... Um, I think often it's more the, the concert environment, environment that puts people off. <laughs> so, so I often say, just come to a concert and I can ensure that you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I think if, if it's not something that you do normally, you know, step out of the norm a little bit, you know, open a different box and go and watch something like this. So, so how do we get to, to see you guys in action and where are we going to see you? So um, there's two concerts left. The one is on Wednesday evening at 6 Spin Street at 7 and the other one is on Sunday afternoon. Um, in St. Andrews, that's our kind of home venue, St. Andrews Presbyterian Church in the Vatican. Okay. Um, but all of the information of the whole festival program is on the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra website. Okay, the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra website. Exactly. So we can just Google that and we'll find all the details yeah. there. Yeah. Eric, thank you very much. Rosalind, thank you very much. We can't wait for a performance um, because from what we've heard so far, it looks incredible and I can't wait to hear <laughs> these interesting uh, uh, instruments that they brought with to studio. Stick around for that performance in just a little bit. It's my feel-good breakfast show. All right, well, this is the moment that uh, we've all been waiting for. Joining us on the Expresso stage this morning, Eric Dippenau, together with his team, the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra. The music festival is currently underway, and they are about to perform for us. Uh, Rosalind, I've got to ask you, what, what are we performing right now? Because I think I'm, a, I'm scared I'm going to mess it up when I say it. Um, the piece is called La Reveuse. La Reveuse. Yes. It just translates as The Sleeping Girl. All right. I love it. Take it away. The stage is your La Reveuse. The Sleeping Girl, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 